we were really overwhelmed by people saying, this has to be seen by more people. People coming out at the end and going, what can I do? Feeling galvanised and inspired and activated by the play. So it was very quickly a conversation about, okay, well, how do we make that happen? And we came to the conclusion, you know what, this story should be in should be in this place, should be in the heart of the West End, right in the middle of the conversation, because it is an important subject and conversation. It's of national importance, and the people in it, the performers, the singers, the dancers, should absolutely be here telling this story. The first stage was ripping all of the stalls out to, to build the actual restaurant floor over the top of, the, um, of where the stalls would be. Uh, we've kept the dress circle, um, and from the dress circle, which has been renamed the White Cliffs of Dover, you look down into the restaurant where there are audience all around in this immersive experience. So this is the, yeah, this is the cross here arch. is the cross arch. Um, which is, you know, so half of our audience down here and half of our performers are kind of within the stage and the other half are near the, uh, near the restaurant, underneath the, underneath the balcony. Mm. When we decided to transfer it from the Young Vic, we, we knew we had to find a space that was going to be able to recreate the atmosphere um, of the Calais jungle and the restaurant. We had this conversation about needing this story, this play, right now, to be the center of the conversation and not to be, as it were, on the fringes. And so I'm a West End theatre producer. <laughs> Um, and so I think the conversation was, let's bring it into the West End. Let's bring it to the centre of the city. Yeah, let, let's, let's have it in the listings alongside Dreamgirls and Lion King and Wicked. People who came to the show at the Young Vic, who had been in the jungle of Calais, when they walked in, they went, oh my God, this is what it felt like. Uh, which is a pretty amazing thing to achieve. And so the experience for them was a little bit like, of course, it was a show rather than real life, but, but it was a little bit like getting people to understand what the experience of being in the jungle was. So when we decided to bring it here, we had to recreate the same thing. We had to deliver an experience at the same intense level as we had before.